The Essene Gospel of Peace is an ancient manuscript found in the Vatican Library in 1923. They were subsequently translated from the original Hebrew and Aramaic text into English. The Essene Gospel of Peace is considered by some to be a true account of Jesus and his original teachings. Because in the process, a lot of Christianity's original spiritual essence was edited or removed entirely. Now we leave you to decide whether the following is in fact the authentic word of Jesus or just something somebody made up and hid in the Vatican. Now let's get Will to read this next section and see what it does for you. And many sick and maimed came to Jesus asking him, If you know all things, tell us, why do we suffer with these grievous plagues? Why are we not whole? like other men. Master, heal us, that we too may be made strong and need to abide no longer in our misery. We know that you have it in your power to heal all manner of disease. Free us from Satan and from all his great afflictions. Master, have compassion on us. And Jesus answered, Happy are you that hunger for the truth, for I will satisfy you with the bread of wisdom. Happy are you that knock, for I will open to you the door of life. Happy are you that you would cast off the power of Satan, for I will lead you into the kingdom of our mother's angels, where the power of Satan cannot enter. And they asked him in amazement, Who is our mother, and which are angels, and where is her kingdom? Jesus answers, Your mother is in you, and you in her. She bore you. She gives you your life. It was she who gave to you your body. And to her shall you one day give it back again. Happy are you when you come to know her and her kingdom. If you receive your mother's angels, and if you do her laws, I tell you truly, he who does these things shall never see disease. For the power of our mother is above all and it destroys the adversary and his kingdom, and has rule over all your bodies and all living things. The blood which runs in us is born of the blood of our earthly mother. Her blood falls from the clouds, leaps from the womb of the earth, babbles in the brooks of the mountains, flows wide in the rivers of the plains, sleeps in the lakes, rages mightily in tempestuous seas. The air which we breathe is born of the breath of our earthly mother. Her breath is azure in the heights of the heavens, sounds in the tops of the mountains, whispers with the leaves of the forest, billows over the cornfields, slumbers in the deep valleys, and burns hot in the desert. The hardness of our bone is born in the bones of our earthly mother, of the rocks and of the stones. They stand naked to the heavens on the tops of the mountains, are as giants that lie sleeping on the sides of the mountains, as idols set in the desert, and are hidden in the deepness of the earth. The tenderness of our flesh is born in the flesh of our earthly mother, whose flesh waxes yellow and red in the fruits of the trees, and nurtures us in the furrows of the fields. I tell you in every truth, man is the son of the earthly mother, and from her did the Son of Man receive his whole body. Even as the body of the newborn baby is born of the womb of the mother, I tell you truly, you are one with the earthly mother. She is in you, and you are in her. Of her you were born, in her do you live, and to her shall you return. Keep therefore her laws, for none can live long, neither be happy, but he who honors his earthly mother and does her laws. For your breath is her breath, your blood her blood, your bone her bone, your flesh her flesh, your bowels her bowels, your eyes and your ears are her eyes and her ears. She shall heal all man's plagues, and he shall never become sick. She gives him long life and protects him from all afflictions, from fire, from water, from the bite of the venomous serpents. For your mother bore you, and keeps life within you. And those who love their mother, she never deserts them. 
as the hen protects her chickens, as the lioness her cubs, as the mother her newborn babe, so does the earthly mother protect the son of man from all danger and from all evils. For no man can serve two masters, for either he serves Beelzebub and his devils, or else he serves our earthly mother and her angels. Either he serves death or he serves life. I tell you truly, happy are those that do the laws of life and wonder not upon the paths of death. For in them the forces of life wax strong, and they escape plagues, death. And all those round about him listened to his words with amazement, for his word was with power, and he taught quite otherwise than the priests and the scribes. And though the sun was now set, they departed not to their homes. They sat around about Jesus and asked him, Master, which are these laws of life? Rest with us a while longer and teach us. We would listen to your teaching that we too may be healed and become righteous. And Jesus himself sat down in their midst and said, I tell you truly, none can be happy except who does the law. But the others answered, We all do the law of Moses, our lawgiver, even as they are written in the Holy Scriptures. And Jesus answered, Seek not the law in your scriptures, for the law is life, whereas the scripture is dead. I tell you truly, Moses received not his laws from God in writing, but through the living word. You find it in the grass, in the tree, in the river, in the mountain, in the birds of heaven, in the fish of the sea. But seek it chiefly in yourselves. For I tell you truly, all living things are nearer to God than the scripture that which is without life. God also made life in all living things so they might, by the everlasting word, teach the laws of the true God to man. God wrote not the laws in the pages of books, but in your heart and in your spirit. How may we read the laws of God elsewhere than read them to us from where you see them? For we know nothing else but the scripture, which we have inherited from our forefathers. Tell us the laws of which you speak, that hearing them we may be healed and justified. Jesus said, You do not understand the words of life, because you are in death. Darkness darkens your eyes, and your ears are stopped with deafness. For I tell you, it profits you not at all, that you pour over dead scriptures, if by your deeds you deny him who has given you the scriptures. I tell you the truth, God and his laws are not in that which you do. They are not in gluttony and in wine-bibbing, neither in riotous living, nor in lustfulness, nor in seeking after riches, nor yet in hatred of your own enemies. For all these things are far from the true God and from his angels. But all these things come from the kingdom of darkness and the Lord of all evils. If you will that the living God's word and his power may enter you, defile not your body and your spirit, for the body is the temple of the spirit, and the spirit is the temple of God. Purify therefore the temple, that the Lord of the temple may dwell therein, and occupy a place that is worthy of him. Now there you go. Go check out the scene gospel of peace for yourself. It's online for free. Okay. Why the hell wasn't that taught to us in Sunday school? <laughs> it's just one more, isn't it? <laughs>